The universe still hides countless secrets. As is well known, experts have been trying to decipher the great mysteries of the cosmos for quite some time. However, not every discovery leads to a significant increase in our knowledge. On the contrary, in many cases, we are merely reminded once again of how much remains to be discovered and understood in the future. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, was founded in 1954 to take basic research in physics to a completely new level. More than 14,000 scientists from 85 countries participate in the exciting CERN experiments. As some of you probably remember, the research direction was to make spectacular headlines a few years ago. Before the Large Hadron Collider went into operation in 2008, the international press painted an apocalyptic picture. At the time, there was great concern that the gigantic particle accelerator could create a black hole that would swallow up the Earth and its inhabitants. Fortunately, such a catastrophic scenario was not to occur. In fact, many CERN test runs have already led to remarkable research results. In today's video, you can find out which spectacular milestone the experts there were able to achieve recently, and which puzzling Mars discovery is also keeping the experts on their toes. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the cosmos on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell to never miss one of our videos again. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. from quarks and hadrons. Before we turn our attention to the exciting discovery that recently spilled out to the public from the ranks of CERN, let's first clarify a fundamental question. What exactly are quarks? Put simply, they are those elementary particles that embody the fundamental constituents of matter. Quarks have the characteristic property of combining to form composite particles, so-called hadrons. These include protons and neutrons, the components of atomic nuclei. In fact, quarks are the exact opposite of singletons. As a result of the so-called confinement phenomenon, these particles never appear in isolation, but exclusively bound. In addition to hadrons, this can also occur in the form of quark-gluon plasmas. A short look at the standard model of particle physics shows why quarks have an extraordinary importance there. According to it, Quarks are the only elementary particles which are subject to all four fundamental interactions. Namely, these are the strong and the weak interactions, as well as electromagnetism and gravitation. Basically, the experts distinguish between six types of quarks, the up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom quarks. For example, protons and neutrons are composed of up and down quarks, or in other words, those quarks with the lowest mass. Heavier representatives of these elementary particles in turn only occur in short-lived hadrons, which have their origin in high-energy collisions. This can be the case, for example, in cosmic rays or in particle accelerators, which brings us back to CERN. Three unknown particles. For a long time, quarks were known only as pairs of two or three. In the recent research past, however, Scientists have been able to detect novel particle assemblies composed of more than three quarks. The use of particle accelerators has revealed the existence of so-called tetra, penta, and even hexaquarks. It seems that practically every scientific analysis brings new exotic hadron forms to light. According to the CERN scientists, we are living in exciting days. The current research era can be compared to the discovery era of the 1950s and 1960s when experts encountered a veritable particle zoo in the course of their work. In fact, the discoveries of those days still form the basis of our modern standard model of particle physics. With each new discovery that the experts make in this exciting field, it becomes clearer to us what constellations are really possible in the hidden realm of quarks. One exciting squad, which recently was to be extended by another entry, when experts performed high-energy proton collisions in the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Examination of the particle signatures recorded in the process revealed the existence of three previously unknown particles. 
The first discovery is a so-called pentaquark, as its official name suggests. It's composed of five quarks, including two heavy charm quarks. At the same time, this discovery represents the first known pentaquark, containing a so-called strange quark. As already mentioned, neither charm nor strange quarks are found in the building blocks of atomic nuclei. According to the scientists, the analysis of the mass could help to understand how the connection of such five quark groups is formed in detail. In fact, there are still some fundamental questions to be solved in this respect. We do not know whether the quarks within these assemblies are evenly coupled, or whether it's more of a loose structure between a trio and a pair. Past analyses suggested that the latter is the case, and the recent CERN discovery also seems to support this theory. With a mass of 4.338 mega electron volts, the pentaquark is at the limit for baryon mason production. A brief classification, baryons, which include the proton and neutron, are subatomic particles with relatively large masses. Masons, which are made up of a quark-antiquark pair, are in turn considered to be of intermediate mass. So in the case of the newly discovered pentaquark, the thesis is now that this combination is made up of a baryon of three quarks plus a mason. Exotic pair of tetraquarks. But as already mentioned, the scientists found not only one, but three new particle assemblies in the course of their experiments. The second discovery is a doubly charged tetraquark that appeared together with a neutral tetraquark. Thus, for the first time in the history of research, it could be proved that such particles can also appear in pairs. Both the doubly charged and the neutral tetraquark consist of a strange antiquark and a charm quark. The respective mass is given as about 2.9 giga electron volts. In this respect, the researchers assume that we are dealing with so-called isospin partners, or in other words, two tetraquarks representing two states of the quantum mechanical system. But even in this case, we are still far from having deciphered all the background of this exciting particle pair. The questions of whether other pairs of this type exist and how the quarks are connected within this constellation have yet to be answered. In order to get closer to solving the puzzle, it will be necessary to continue tracking down new exotic particle constellations in the future. This exciting research path should one day result in the development of a unified model of exotic hadrons. However, such discoveries are also of great importance when it comes to understanding conventional particles such as protons and neutrons even more precisely. Mysterious Martian Mineral From terrestrial research facilities to the gigantic expanses of space, in 2015, the Mars rover Curiosity recorded a puzzling discovery. Once it landed on the surface of the Red Planet on August 6, 2012, the rover's mission was intended to answer an age-old question for us. Was or is Mars capable of harboring life? It's possible that the answer to this gripping question is hiding in the soil of the celestial body. So it happened that Curiosity was once again busy taking a sediment sample from a former Martian water body about seven years ago. In the process, the rover was supposed to bring to light a mysterious grayish powder whose chemical composition immediately caused big questions for experts. In detail, the sample contained almost 75% silicon dioxide, a circumstance which is anything but usual for the actually basaltic crust of the planet. The researchers were no less surprised by the fact that the silicates also contained over 15% monoclinic tritomite. Typically, tritomite is formed when silicates are strongly heated and then rapidly cooled. This special form of quartz is also extremely rare on our earthly home. So far, it can only be traced at two volcanoes in Japan and elsewhere in Greenland. The fact that the Gale Crater, which Curiosity has been examining since its landing, does not harbor any volcanoes in silicon-rich magma seems particularly strange. In addition, we should not forget that the sample was taken from the bottom of a dried lake. In order to track down the origin of the inexplicable sample, the experts played through all possible background scenarios. In the end, the experts came to a surprising conclusion. The tritomite probably originated from a distant Martian volcano. Its magma remained in the chamber longer than usual, causing it to cool in places. As a result, components that had already crystallized sank to the bottom, allowing lighter, 
more silicate-rich components to rise to the top within the magma mixture. When the volcano finally erupted, mainly the upper, silicate-rich components were then ejected. The ash released during this explosive eruption was subsequently transported by the wind to Gale Crater. Chemical analysis suggests that the lake, which has since dried up, was still holding water at the time. What at first sounds like a rather banal case of volcanic ash on a lake bottom actually holds significant potential for insight. Accordingly, the research results indicate that the volcanic activities of the Red Planet were much more diverse than previously suspected. Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the exciting particle discovery of the CERN scientists? And what do you think of the theory about the mysterious Martian mineral? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.